Before the video starts, I would like to thank my first ever Patreon, Edward Mayo, for being a low-spec gamer supporter. Thank you so much for the love and support you have shown me in my YouTube and Facebook live streams. You rock, dude. What's wrong guys, A back here with another video. So for today's test video, we will be trying out Fallout 76. Now this game is an online action role playing game in the Fallout series which was developed by Bethesda Game Studios and published by Bethesda Softwares. So this was released for the PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on November 14, 2018 and it is a prequel to previous series games. So Fallout 76 is Bethesda Game Studios' first multiplayer game which allows players to explore the open world, which has been torn apart by nuclear war. So Bethesda developed the game using a modified version of its creation engine which allowed the accommodation of multiplayer gameplay and a more detailed game world. Now the game wasn't received well by the public stating that it lacked gameplay purpose, that it lacked an NPC, and a few numerous bugs that were encountered in the game. However, despite all this, there are some people who still say that this game is actually quite good and that it has a lot of things to offer. Now, upon talking to some of my friends, people were saying that if you are playing alone, it could get lonely. However, when you are playing with others or your friends, the game is actually quite fun. So I believe that Fallout 76 still has some good things to offer, despite the negative reviews by a lot of people. Now we will be testing this on my rig which has an i5-4460 clocked at 3.2GHz, 8GB of DDR3 RAM running on a single channel, a 1TB Toshiba SSHD, a 120GB Transcend SSD, and the PALS GTX 650 with 1GB of VRAM. And the driver version I am using is the NVIDIA Game Ready Driver version 425.31. Now going over the settings, I am running this at a resolution of 1280x720 with the rest of the settings which I will be showing you on screen right now. Now going over the performance of the game, MSI Afterburner reports an average frame rate of 33, a minimum frame rate of 20, a maximum frame rate of 61.6, a 1% low of 10.1, and a 0.1% of 3.8. Now overall, if you are planning to get this game with a GTX 650, I would say that the game actually ran quite okay. Usually, it would hover around 30 FPS and above at times. However, during crowded areas or crowded plays, it would drop down to less than 30 FPS. If you're willing to lower down the settings in order to get playable FPS, then this game can run on the GTX 650 quite okay. Now, at this point of the video, I will stop talking and let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.